So, my kids broke their edge of sketch, and I was like looking online at how do you get the powder out, the aluminum powder, and separate it from everything else. So I tried to alcohol at first, and that seemed to kind of work well. And then I found out that all of it that was floating on the top, that you could literally just skim it right off the top. And since ethanol is expensive, I decided to just use water for the rest of it, but it comes off pretty easy and it looks really cool. So I figured I'd film it a little bit. You just skim it right off the top. So I'll move it a little bit and show you what, it, what it's got inside of it. Well, it's pretty full. Maybe I can't. Maybe I can just do this. So I've got glass in here because it broke. And there's all these little balls in the bottom. But thankfully those are just plastic and they don't float. I've seen people online say that they're styrofoam. But it appears that they're plastic of some sort. They don't float. So acetone probably will dissolve them to some extent. But this is definitely way cheaper and easier. And look at all that aluminum. That looks cool, doesn't it? It looks dry, but it's really wet. Sorry, I'm shivering because it's cold out here. Yeah, you just kind of skim it across the surface. And pick it up. Before that, I was trying to filter it. And not Got, not get the balls that were in the bottom. So I've got some over here. But yeah, that's the best way to get the aluminum powder off. Decanting it doesn't really work well because the balls do kind of want to go. But as you can see, most of the aluminum wants to stay on the top. And the balls, however, don't. So skimming it right off the surface seems to be the best way to do it. There's not much aluminum powder here. I just wanted to see if it could be done since my kids broke theirs. Alright, thanks for watching.